Mike Royer is a cartoonist. Through illustration, he has brought many a story to life. I like visual storytelling. When it comes to reading books, I'm slower than most people because I storyboard every page as I'm reading a book and seeing how it would look on the page as drawing or on the movie screen. He's worked with the best. Before a two-decade career with Disney, he helped ink out comics with the legendary Jack Kirby. Uh, spent a year and a half in TV animation. I laid out one-third of the first Saturday morning Spider-Man show. From that, uh, I ultimately met Jack Kirby, who was the king of comic books and created almost everything except Spider-Man and Submariner. And I lettered and inked everything he did for 10 years. He says he picked up a lot from Kirby, but it was one of the most basic ideas that stuck with him. But one thing that Jack Kirby told me about comic book layout and pages is that it's like movies. The movie screen never changes. It's what goes on inside it. I know some artists who there isn't anything they can't draw, but they have trouble telling story because they're so involved in doing beautiful artwork. And I think it's more important to lay out something that you can, in essence, compel the reader to go where you want him to go. But it wasn't until he got to Disney that Royer discovered his true talents were better served with Mickey Mouse rather than superheroes. When I was young, I envisioned myself doing superheroes or larger-than-life heroes like Tarzan and Flash Gordon. But when I went to work at Disney, I discovered that my real bag was funny animals. And thus Mickey Mouse's adventures came to life in a comic book. I could tell interesting stories and do non-typical things that were not perhaps traditional for funny animal comics. Some of Royer's images will endure forever, like this one he helped create that's quite popular here in his home state of Oregon. In Medford, Joe Camerlingi, NBC5 News.